Hi everyone, Charles here for Emily Papers. How are you doing today? So if you are watching this video around the time of its release, the new year has just started. And if so, I wish you the best and the most fulfilling year 2024. Now, a lot of people are interested in a career related to machine learning, and that includes a lot of possibilities, from data scientist to machine learning engineer, from researcher in a big tech company to university professor, from data analyst in an insurance company to quantitative researcher in a bank or in a hedge fund. Now, in any case, machine learning is a fast-paced environment which keeps evolving. So the main challenge for anyone working in machine learning or willing to work in machine learning is to keep learning and evolving as well. Today, I will share with you my best habits to stay on the edge of state-of-the-art machine learning. By following them, you will increase your machine learning knowledge, proficiency, and creativity, and you will ace easily any machine learning job interview that you take and shine as a machine learning professional using state-of-the-art machine learning. In today's video, I'll present five plus one good habits that will take your machine learning skills to a new height. There will be one habit per day from Monday to Saturday. The days for each habit are just examples, but if many of us follow these habits on the same days, then it will definitely be more motivating. Finally, each habit takes around 30 minutes each, so of course not everyone can invest so much time and energy. But if you can still follow even only one or two of those habits, then at the end of the year, you will make huge progress on your machine learning journey. Let's start with Tuesday's good habit. Our first good habit is to do programming for 30 minutes every Tuesday. Now, some of you may already do it in your jobs or research projects, in which case you already have this good habit. For the others, and I'm thinking in particular about students or theory people like me, we may spend a whole month programming eight hours per day in Python, and the next month, the Python in our computer is hibernating. I personally feel that I start losing my programming skills after one week without practice. Unfortunately, such skills are always useful, even if you're not an engineer. If you're a student, you can see a job or opportunity anytime, and you will have to do programming during interviews. If you're a researcher and you submitted a paper to a conference or a journal, it is very frequent that reviewers ask for additional experiments during the short rebuttal phase. Now, we don't need to be at 100% of our programming capacity all the time, but let's try to keep it at around 80% in order to be operational, or at least capable to reach 100% in a few days' practice. Next day, Wednesday. Our next good habit is to choose one fixed time slot of 30 minutes every Wednesday to learn something. Now, what is that something? It can be anything from the basics to the most recent method, from theory to algorithms. You read that the last T of chat GPT stands for transformers, and you would like to know what they are? Or in my last video, this one, I showed a law of large numbers for the maximum of random variables, and you want to learn the standard law of large numbers? You want to brush up your knowledge in statistics? This time slot is made to learn all that. With this new habit, you will learn around 50 new concepts every year. Not only will your knowledge of machine learning increase, you will also build a lot more confidence. We move on to Thursday's good habit, which will specifically boost your creativity. Every Thursday, take some time to think about ideas or questions that you had. For example, in my video on loss functions, this one, what does the bound look like when the loss is a squared loss? Any such question or idea that you have, try it, make experiments, make proofs. This is the way to understand what doesn't work and to find out what may work and become possible improvement of existing results. Friday's habit now, and to me, this one is the most important on the list. Every Friday, go and discuss about machine learning with other like-minded people. So this is a group thing. So maybe you can decide of a chat time together with some of your friends and colleagues. Otherwise, Friday usually feels more relaxed and you can just strike up a conversation at your workplace, at your university, or outside with friends. During those chats, people speak informally about literally anything, from the latest AI startup that is currently making waves, to one's favorite research paper, from theory to applications. That's also where people share tips and advice on job interviews or learning courses. Don't hesitate to share yours and build connections and share with them this YouTube channel, ML New Papers. If it helps you, it can help others too. This also helps my channel and encourages me to produce even more quality content for you. So in the end, 
it becomes beneficial for all of us. Thank you so much for your support. And last but not least, talking to other machine learning enthusiasts will give you the motivation to keep on going. I have started my PhD at the very beginning of the COVID pandemic in Japan. My family was and still is abroad. My laboratory was closed and I had no one to speak to. I can tell you that what I missed the most was support and motivation. Although I was working hard every day, I just felt that I wanted to have a group of other machine learning enthusiasts with whom to support each other. Next, Saturday's habit, which is probably the most difficult one to take. Every Saturday, take some time to read all or part of a research paper. Now, you may not read the whole paper, depending on how much time you allocated and how well written the paper is. However, this is really amazing if you can understand the topic and the main message of a paper. In particular, by reading papers on many different topics, you will broaden your understanding of machine learning. I explain this in more details in that video. Now, I know that this task is very challenging and that's why on this channel, I share with you my readings in a hopefully nice and approachable way with all the required background. If you're not comfortable with this task, then this channel will definitely help you. But even if you are, each video is only around 10 minutes. So instead of reading a paper, you can just watch my video and have both the benefit of reading a new paper and the benefit of learning a new topic in machine learning while saving so much time. And what do we do on Monday? The answer is watch a video from MLU Papers. On this YouTube channel, I introduce recent research papers in machine learning, focusing on recent and diversified topics which are often absent from the mainstream machine learning textbooks. I also share tips and advice for those of you who are interested in a career in machine learning or in studying machine learning at university. All right, everyone, that rounds out my five plus one best new habits to become a machine learning expert. What are your tips and advice for the new year 2024? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you're up to. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for the next video. I'll upload new content every week, so stay tuned. Thanks again so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.